All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second game tonight of Central Christian College basketball. Tonight we've got the Central Christian College Saints versus Hannibal LaGrange University. A bit of a revenge game for the Saints as earlier this season they traveled to Hannibal and fell just short off the second of uh, the last second shot by Raheem Brizendine. And the tip goes to Hannibal LaGrange. Number zero, Malachi Munoz with the ball. Gets it to Chris Cross. What a name. What a name, Chris Cross. Munoz with it in the corner. Caleb Beckton just playing some strong offense down, posting Quincy up, but Quincy playing some great defense to counter that. Munoz zips it to the corner. Now Jansen Floto with it. And number 23, Gutierrez with the corner three. Big shot by Gutierrez in the corner. Saints are going to have to match up to the shooters here. Chris Woods with it for the Saints, giving it to Trey Palmer. Trey calling a play. Gets it to Brizendine. Chris Woods guarded by Floto. Saints are playing some very slow basketball here. They're trying to set up their pace, set up their game. And Trey Palmer takes a deep contested three. No good. Rebound by Munoz. Munoz pushing up for number one. Floto hands it off to Chris Cross. Gutierrez to Munoz. Gutierrez with it, finds Becton. Becton's going to go inside, draws the foul. Not sure what, but what more Quincy could have done there. He just stayed straight up. They're going to go ahead and give him the foul, and we're going to see Caleb Becton shoot two off the foul. And Becton hits his first. And the second one rolls off the front of the rim as Becton goes two for, or two for two from the line. Now is the Saints ball. Chris Woods with it, getting it to Sam Adams. Now Palmer with it, guarded by Munoz. Brizendine gets the screen from Quincy James. Of course, you had a nice pop, Brizendine. If he would have looked back sooner, could have passed it over for an open three. Good job, Quincy James, driving in, finding the open man and getting the foul. And the foul is going to be on number 13, Kayla Becton, his first of the contest, as Trey Palmer is going to inbound it for the Saints. Gets it into Quincy James. James to Brizendine. Brizendine is going to drive, stop. It's Quincy James, step back three is going to be short. Rebound by Gutierrez. As Munoz bringing up the ball for the Trojans. Jansen Floto with it. The Trojans are passing it around now with the hands of Chris Cross to Munoz, handing it to Floto. Now back to guarded by Sam Adams, zips it across court, and it is out of the reach of number 23, Gutierrez. Good, good job, Sam, after getting switched up onto Beckton, able to keep his ground and force that turnover. So it'll be Saints ball, and Chris Woods is going to inbound it. Woods gets it into Palmer. Palmer back to Woods, guarded by Floto. Trey Palmer trying to get open. He does, has the ball at the top of the key, gets it down to James. James going to take a fadeaway shot. No good. Rebound by Gutierrez. That's James' the second shot of the night. Highly contested with a step back of some sort. And Chris Cross gets it down into Beckton. Great heads up D by Quincy James. Not fouling. And Brizendine's going to be down on the other end. Just strong on the free throw. And Brizendine trying to get it, the ball. But he was still out of bounds is what they called. So it'll be the Trojans ball. I think it was more he jumped from out of bounds. So jumped he had, from out of bounds. He okay. Step, he had yet to step foot on the inbounds. So okay. Technically his body was still considered out of bounds. Very good. Saints having some pressure. Uh, Munoz finding Chris Cross in the corner for three. Ah, uh, no good. Great box out by Sam Adams there. Now Trey Palmer in control. Saints still have yet to score. Need to get something going here. Quincy James had a career high 37 points last uh, home last game. He's on the road to a thousand. He's about 80 points away. Is Raheem Brissendine tough lay? Heavily contested. Able to get that nice hook shot up and in. Munez with Munoz with the ball for the Saints. He's going to drive on Palmer. 
Yeah, Palmer's got his hand on his hip the whole way down. The refs are going to let the hand go occasionally, especially if you're just standing still. But you cannot ride up on his hip like that the entire way. Quick substitutions for the Saints. Trey Palmer and Sam Adams coming out. Idris Hamilton and Nolan Mathis Nolan's in. jumping around. He's excited, ready to get in this ballgame. Nolan Mathis, a sharp suitor, and Idris Hamilton, a fantastic rebounder for the Saints as Munoz gets it into Chris Cross. Now Gutierrez back to Munoz. Munoz guarded by Mathis. is going to dish it down to Gutierrez, who's going to kick it to Munoz. Munoz for the three is no good. Rebounded by who else but Hamilton. That is his, I believe, 63rd rebound of this season. Already so early. Now Quincy James Jr. is going to pull a three. No good. Rebounded by Hamilton, and Hamilton's going to put it right back up. Hamilton doing already what he does fantastic on the season, getting rebounds, not just on the defensive side, but on the offensive side as well. Yeah, that is his 27th offensive rebound and 37th defensive, defensive rebound. Becton with it in the paint, zips it to Floto in the corner, and shot is no good. Rebound finds Raheem Brizendine, kicks up to Nolan Mathis. He's going to wait for his offense. Smart by him not to force anything. Chris Woods to Brizendine. Nolan Mathis with it at the top of the key. Just going to give it back. Idris Hamilton now with it. So he's playing a little, I wouldn't say slow, just they're not much movement. People and Chris Woods steps into a three-pointer to take the lead. Well, go ahead and shut me up, Chris Woods. <laughs> give me another. Woods guarding Floto. Now Becton at the top of the key. Want to guard Floto on that three-point line as he sinks it. Chris Woods with the ball now for the Saints. Going to slow it down. Sam Adams looking to check back in already. Just needed a quick breather. But Brizendine gets stripped by Chris Cross. Quincy James looking. He's probably going to try and block it. Hey! He does. Quincy James Jr. off the glass. Rebounded by Floto. Access D. Who Nine is to going rim. to draw the foul? Foul is going to be on uh, number two, Chris Woods. Call the foul on Chris Woods as Jansen Floto goes to the line. Shoot two. Fun fact, I have a little bit, I'm a little bit torn on this game. I've uh, gone to school with a few guys on the Hannibal LaGrange team, and one of those being Jansen Floto, who's at the line, went to Lincoln Christian University with him. Yeah, tell me about all those schools that you went to <laughs> with them. Well. None of them were at Hannibal. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't go to Hannibal with them. I went to Lincoln. Um, with close. Which closed, and I was also SLCC and another. Oh, no, which not, closed? It's not him. St. Louis Christian College. Um, anyways, Jansen Floto hit the first free throw. Yes, and with that, number two, no, number three. Harrison Askey is coming in. I'm really glad it's number three <laughs> and not number two. While Russell, probably a fantastic player. <laughs> I just don't know how to pronounce his last name. Looks like a planet from Star Wars in Naboo, but it's just N-Y-O-O. New. Saints with the ball. Sam, Sam Adams finds the cutting. Nolan Mathis, who gets a nice bucket. Also good. in for the Trojans is number four, Eric Hively, as he controls the ball. Hands it off to Chris Cross, and here comes number two looking to sub in. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> uh, number 13, Becked it with it, finds the cutting. Ooh, the cutting Hively, who is going to get fouled. Uh, I believe it's going to be on Idris Hamilton as he tried to go for the block. I Indeed, think, I think both were could have been considered clean. It was kind of a toss-up call, but when no one is on and blocking and Idris has come from behind, they're going to give it to the shooter every time. Number four, Hively hits his first as Floto comes out, and number two, Russell Nuo. New Nuo. Nuo. Uh, he is from Indonesia, a freshman. Guard as Hively goes two for two from the line. All right, we're just going to call him Russell. Sam or Trey Palmer bringing the ball up for the Saints. Quincy uh, James directing traffic on his run down. Quincy James with it, guarded by Becton. Looking for something. He is going to kick it to Nolan Mathis. He's going to find Idris Hamilton. Saints so doing a lot of things without getting anywhere with basketball movement. Quincy James with it is going to get called for a travel. 
That was unfortunately a lot of time taken off for the Saints there with nothing to show for it. That was great defense, though, by Hannibal. Not to discredit anything they were doing. They were playing some solid defense, not allowing anything in the paint. Hively with it for the Trojans. Uh, Chris Cross getting open is going to give it to Russell. Russell to Chris Cross, fake the three. Russell trying to move without the ball. He's going to almost lost it. Number three, Askey with it. Chris Cross is going to take a three, and it is good. Cash out. Trey Palmer bringing the ball up for the Saints as they trail 9-14. to Idris Hamilton gets it to Quincy James, faking the three. He's going to step back and go for the three. No good. Rebound by Russell. Chris Cross scanning the court, gets it over to Russell. Russell back to Cross. Hannibal just doing an excellent job tonight, swinging the ball around, Beckman going in. And that is a charge for Sam Adams. He has been so great at that during his four-year tenure here as a Saint. If you need a charge, whether it's practice or in the game, Sam Adams always willing to put his body on the line to get that. And I am just getting a, an update on how to say Russell's last name. I have another friend over at Hannibal LaGrange who's watching the live stream right now, Jace Loebner. Shout out to Jace saying that it is in you. In you. In you. All righty. So Russell in you as the Saints take control of the ball. Russ, or <laughs> Trey Palmer with it. I like in you because every time we said Russell, I was thinking of Russell, Russell. from up. <laughs> Nolan Not Mathis Westbrook. with the ball guarded by Hively is going to spin into traffic. But he is going to get the foul, and I believe that is on Askey. Well, the coach is not happy. Call him saying, this is not junior high basketball. You need to be more disciplined than that. Raheem Brizendine with it for the Saints is going to get it to Hamilton. Finds the, the getting open Palmer as Palmer. It's a three-pointer as he does. Trey for Trey. Trey for Trey. Going up with it. Hannibal's wasting no time coming back up. Gutierrez, who's back in the game for the Trojans, gets it to Enyu, who's going to drive into the lane that, and get the layup. That play was set up by number three, Askey, able to seal Sam on the baseline to open up the wide open lane for him to get into there for that layup. <laughs> Satan setting the double cross screen, going to Brizendine. Brizendine trying to make something happen. Hannibal does a great job trapping. Oh, Sam on the cut, just missed him. Oh, Trey Palmer is going to trip. Both coaches just yelling at their players here. One saying, don't go into the triple team. The other saying, don't let him get out of the triple team. A couple substitutions for the Trojans. Jansen Floto back in as well as Malachi Munoz. And the ball gets lost. Raheem Brissendine finds it. Chris Woods also back in the game for the Saints. He's going to get it, catch it. And he is going to dish it to Nolan Mathis in the corner. No sh shot for him. Idris Hamilton with it. Is now going to find Nolan Mathis. Nolan Mathis for Boom. three. Nolan the Mantis. Mathis for Short three. Shooter. If you catch and shoot is his specialty. And Munoz is going to fire another three on the other end. No one came back and picked up Munoz. Sam Adams had to come over and just put a hand up. And Raheem Brizendine takes a step back mid-range. No good. Rebounded by Floto. Shot clock has not been reset. They're just going to play it out. 15 left on the shot clock was never reset. Munoz with it. He's going to get it to Gutierrez. And substitution for the Saints, number 14. Tristan Brand coming in for Nolan Mathis. Uh, shot clock after the violation by a uh, foul by Raheem Brizendine. It's going to reset the clock to 20. Number three, Askey gets it. All right, and Nuno's going to set up the offense. Picks up his dribble in an interesting spot, not necessarily where you want to do that. 
Number four, Hively getting it to Floto. Floto, three seconds, going to take a step back. Mid-range is Cash. That was dirty. Nice behind the back. Put it up, Vitty. Now Chris Woods with it. Already nine and a half minutes off this first half. Chris Woods looking for somewhere to go. Gets the taking a three. Guarded by Floto. No good. Rebound by Hively. Hively's going to drive. That's a couple possessions there for the Saints. Um, bigger possessions that they had just not been able to come up with anything. Gutierrez finds the cutting Hively. Guarded by Sam Adams. Back to Gutierrez. He's going to get it to Askey. Now Munoz with it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Going to dish it down to Askey. Back to Munoz. Fake pass. Pulls the mid-range shot. Is off. Rebound by Adams. Get out of here, little boy. Adams. Sam Adams. Gonna get it to out. Chris Woods. He's going to find Idris Hamilton. Idris dribbling it around. Guarded by Floto. Now Tristan Brand with it. Chris Woods trying to get open. A miscue passes right off the head of Sam Adams, but still Saints ball. Six seconds left for Heem Brizadine. Fake spin move is going to pull mid. No good. Rebound by Chris Woods. Great by Chris Woods to get the O board. Now Tristan Brand. Raheem Brizendine is going to try and get it to, or gets it to Tristan Brand. Now Woods with it. Sam Adams is going to take the three. No good. That was a good possession by the Saints. Even though they did not get the bucket, they were able to pull it out, send some more time on the shot clock, work the defense down. It's a lot harder to play defense the longer than play offense. Munoz with it in the quarter, guarded by Hamilton. A little bit of a mismatch down low. T-Band trying, doing what he can to work on Askey. Now Hively with it, going to hand it off to Gutierrez. Thought about the three. And Sam Adams is going to get called for a foul. It'll be on the floor. It does not look like the shot is going to count. And a couple substitutions for both teams. Quincy James Jr. coming in for Idris Hamilton. And out for the Trojans is Malachi Munoz and Harrison Askey. In for them is number 12, Colby Wood, and number 13, Caleb Beckton, back in the game. Hively get it into, gets it into Wood. Good pass fake, get and Woods off of him. Jansen Floto with the three, a little strong, rebounded by Woods. Things wasting no time, just skipping it down the court. Woods trying to zip it to the corner. Brand picked off by Floto. Zip is exactly right. You almost want to see just a nice coach's preach against lollipop passes, but you do want to float that high if you're going to pass to the corner through everyone. Beckton has it in the paint. Finds a wide open Floto in the corner. No good. You don't want to give him those too many of those shots as Beckton puts it up and in. Saints no, no now one trail by to, five. No one came to box Beckton out. Chris, Chris Woods with it. Now Tristan Brand finds Quincy James Jr. Who cuts in and up and in is Quincy James. That and a, a full timeout for the Saints. That is a man's move right there by Quincy James, putting his body into the defender, putting a lay in right in. All right, want to do another name correction for Russell. Hopefully this is the last one. Sorry, uh, Russell's parents, if you are watching. It is Russell New. 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 One syllable, New. And coming out of the timeout, it is Hannibal's ball. Russell New in the game. He's going to lead this Hannibal offense. 
gets it to Chris Cross. Cross to Colby Wood. Chris Cross is going to take take a three, and it is good. He makes it look so easy. Pass, flare out, get another pass for the knockdown. Chris Wood bringing it up now, getting it to Trey Palmer, guarded by New. Finds Quincy James. Trey Palmer takes the three, and it is off. Rebound by number one, Floto. Trey wanted to answer with a three there. Had a good look, unable to get its fall. Maybe want to see a two-pointer there. Nice open cut to the basket. New with the ball is going to hand it off to Floto. Getting it to Wood, back to Floto. Thought about it. Had a little bit of a fumble when he caught it. Maybe he would have pulled it. Takes a mid-range shot floater, or not floater, fadeaway. And he's going to get fouled on that. So Floto will go to the line for two again. That will be on Brizendine, his second. Now, I was not able to see because of the screen in front of me, but I don't know if Brizendine was following his man around and got caught or if he was coming over to help. But if it was coming over to help, you don't really want to see that there. So far away from the basket, you don't want to come, you don't want to have help come from behind. Floto hit his first and substitution for the Saints. Nolan Mathis coming in and Chris Woods will sit down. And Floto goes two for two from the line. Sam Adams going to inbound it to Palmer. Quincy James Jr. with it, guarded by Becton, finds the open Mathis. Great cut by James. Mm, yeah. Slipped a little bit there, but he did get the travel. Before he slipped, took one too many steps coming across. You get your two, and then you got to plant that pivot foot. You cannot change your pivot foot to your front one. New catching the inbound ball from Floto as he brings it up. Guarded by Palmer getting it to Floto. Now Chris Cross want to stop him from catching any threes. Mathis on Floto. Floto spin around. Midi is good. That's just unfortunate if you're Mathis. You have a strong wall there. Bumps does not give. And so he's going to go ahead and turn around and hit a fadeaway tough shot. Sam Adams is going to find Quincy James. Drives, kick, kicks it to Brizendine who is going to... Uh, lose the ball, and Nolan Mathis caught the ball on the ground, but the ball was on the out-of-bounds line, so it'll be a turnover by the Saints. Saints need to be careful not let this get too far away. It's a 10-point game now. Six minutes left to go in this first half. New bringing it up for them, getting it to Chris Cross. Chris Cross already an offensive force, as well as that man, Jansen Floto, who is going to draw the foul. Foul is going to be on Nolan Mathis. Uh, it's difficult. Saints do not necessarily have a traditional post player anywhere in their lineup now. And so people are forced to play out of position on defense. Got to learn to be strong, and you got to learn to be disciplined when playing in the post. If only we had a six foot eleven guy who played basketball one time or another right. to come in for the Saints. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I respect your, I respect your choice not to play basketball. It's Floto. Again, at the line, uh, he was shooting a one and one. He hit the first and hit the second. I don't mind lacing him back up maybe for a home <laughs> game or two. but Trey Palmer with the ball for the Saints, getting it to James Jr. James is going to find Nolan Mathis. Back to James. Thought about the three. He's going to drive, kick it to Nolan Mathis, who gets the bucket. N number one, Floto was coming in from behind, looking to block that He's shot. Just a hair late. Crisscross with it, now to Wood, now to Floto. Hannibal doing a good job getting this ball around, finds the wide open, crisscross, no good. Rebound, James Jr. That was a great screen by number 13, Becton, able to get cross open. As Quincy James drives in on Becton and has a layup. Trey Palmer trying to do some sneaky Jose Alvarado stuff and pick the ball off, but they saw that. New bringing up the ball as a timeout will be called. 30-second timeout, and we will see you after that.
All right, as we come out of the 30-second timeout, it'll still be Hannibal Ball, um, Floto to inbound. Uh, we got some lineup changes. Uh, Munoz is back in for Hannibal, coming in for Colby Wood. Floto is going to get it into Munoz, guarded by Palmer. Beckman playing some strong post offense there. Good job, Quincy James, staying disciplined. Rebound goes to Palmer, who's going to zip it to Sam Adams, who's going to try and float it up. No good. Uh, rebound by the Trojans, new with it. That is one of the toughest shots to make in basketball, a full-paced layup coming in, get a tight pass or a window. Floto with the driving kick to Munoz, who's going to drive himself, spin around. No good rebound by New, and he gets it up, over, and in. As Trey Palmer is going to speed across, try to get some quickness off it, and foul is going to be on the floor. It's going to be by number two, Russell New. Chris Woods going to inbound it for the Saints with 444 left in this first half. Saints trail by 10. Bounce pass into Adams. <laughs> Sam nice. wipes his hands off after he catches the ball. Good job <laughs> on his part, keeping control. Quincy James Jr. with it is going to get it to Woods, find back to Jr. Thought about the three instead, is going to drive in. Oh, a little strong. Uh, Chris Cross catching the rebound. You almost want to call goaltending there because he hit the backboard after the ball hit the backboard, shook the rim. Could have affected the shot. I'm not saying it did, but I will say that I would like to see a goaltending call there. Munoz with it, guarded by Palmer. Gets it to Floto, who's going to drive in, and right-handed lay is good. Shot clock was not reset, and the refs are going to call that off. Having a handful of shot clock issues in the two games we had tonight. Um, not sure if it's something with the clock or just the human error, probably that one. Uh, but Saints ball, Chris Woods with it. Into Quincy James. We breathe grace, though. That's one of the Saints. Amazing... And Sam Adams takes a deep three. Palmer tipped it, uh, but still into the hands of the Trojans. Floto with it. Now with Munoz. Oh. And the pass is picked off by Trey Palmer, and Trey Palmer is going to lay it up. Great point. I was ready play. for showtime. <laughs> heads up play by Trey. Uh, and another shot clock issue for uh, we here at the Saints. That's our AD. <laughs> um, and substitution for the Trojans. Number zero, Munoz coming out. Coming in for him is number four, Eric Hively, the junior out of Bayless, Illinois. I don't know what's worse, doing the shot clock job or doing the stats job. Both of you got to be heads up at all times. I have never done stats, but uh, when I went to Lincoln, I did the shot clock and – just overhearing how stats work, I'd rather do the shot clock as Jansen Floto hits a nice three for the Trojans. That's true, but if you mess up the shot clock, then everyone knows. Everyone's looking at you, and I have been there. It's Chris Woods. Kicks it to Idris Hamilton, who's back in for the Saints. James Jr. with it. He's going to find Chris Woods back to Jr. James is going to drive in on Caleb Beckton yet again and gets another shot. He is just finessing all of these in, coming in from the side. Not much of an angle to put it up, but lays it in every single time. Hively with it is going to kick it to Chris Cross in the corner, and it is a another three for Chris Cross. Man, he is Chris raining. Cross is an assassin tonight from three. With a name like that, you'd hope he'd be good at basketball. I mean, I figured he was a great ball handler. <laughs> I'm sure he's heard that joke over and over and, and over. And the pass is tipped off by Chris Cross, who – Dunks it home on the other end for the Trojans. And a timeout for the Saints. A 30-second timeout as they trail 16.
All right, coming out of the Saints, 30-second timeout will be the Saints ball. A little showtime play by Chris Cross. And it was a dunk before the Saints had to call a timeout, talk it over. Tristan Brand now in for the Saints, second showing for him tonight. Man, what a guy. Key man. Trey Palmer with it. He's going to hand it off to Quincy, and Quincy is going to try and spin, gets the ball knocked away, and Quincy is uh, down on the ground wincing. Play still going. Idris Hamilton. There are some uh, high-flying passes for the Saints here. Tristan Brand with it. Going to find Chris Woods for a deep three at the buzzer. No good. I'd like to acknowledge Chris Cross on that play, stopping what he's doing to pick up Quincy James as he still grimaces on the other four. That's just a great show of sportsmanship for Cross. Yes. Floto with it, uh, finding number three, Askey, back in the game. Floto with it again. Deflection there by Dries Hamilton, able to stop that from going any further. Unfortunately, a foul on number 14, Tristan, Tristan Brand. Brand. And now Floto will go to the line to shoot another one-and-one. One. Floto, a lot of free throw attempts early. Well, not early on, the half's almost over. Um, yeah, it's been a quick one. We've only been live 34 minutes, and that's including some of warm-ups. And he misses the first, and nobody had heads up that it was a one-and-one. One one. Um, number four, Hively with it. He's going to try and get it handed off to Floto. Now Chris Cross guarded by Chris Woods. Going to get it down to... Got down to Floto, who's going to get fouled by Tristan Brand again. Uh, it's again just that matchup issue for the Saints. Tristan has to do a little more. He can't just put his hands up and body. He's just not that big of a body to be able to do that in the post. So he has to find other ways to do it. However, when you got a ref staring right at you, it's very hard to get away with anything. And this one, a uh, full double bonus, a double bonus for the Saints. Um, Floto hits his first. As he comes out and Sam Adams comes in for him. And Floto goes two for two from the line. Chris Woods bringing it up quickly for the Saints. Sam Adams now with it. Trey Palmer going to drive and try and float it up. No good. Rebound by the Trojans. 55 seconds left in this first half. That was a great move by Trey to get in the lane. Unfortunate finish. You really need to stop and do a pump fake there. Jump stop, get all three of those guys in the air before he shoots it. Hively with it for the Trojans. Going to get it to Gutierrez. A little hopscotch down <laughs> there for him. Uh, Crisscross with it, guarded by Sam Adams. And now Hively with it is going to get it to Gutierrez in the corner, who quarter three is no good. Ball is going to be tipped out of bounds. It'll be Saints ball. 25 seconds left in this first half. Shot clock is off. So they just need to do everything in their power to make sure they get the final shot here. It needs to be a good one. Chris Woods bringing it up for the Saints. Thirteen seconds. Chris Woods gonna try and float it to Quincy James a little strong. James with it is going to drive. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Saints are going to have to inbound it. They're going to set up in what looks like, uh, not sure, triangle set. Chris Wood gets the inbound to Tristan Brand. <coughs> Five seconds. Quincy James is going to drive. And he is going to draw the foul as Quincy James is going to go to the line for two. And with three seconds left to go in this first half, um, barring these free throws, Saints are trailing by 18. Um, definitely needing to pick it up in the second half. Yeah, Quincy needs to make both of these. There's the first one. Quincy needs to make the second one to make sure, guarantee that they do not go down 20 into halftime. And Quincy goes two for two from the line. Uh, now they are down by 16. Trey Palmer, or sorry, excuse me. Yeah, Trey Palmer guarding Eric Hively. Uh, throws up a shot, but the buzzer had already went off. Um, so we go into halftime. Saints trailing by 17. Um, an offensive barrage 
for the Trojans by Jansen Floto and Chris Cross, respectively. Um, Just raining down from three. Saints are doing a good job in the post stopping it. I know they've gotten some fouls and just unfortunate calls. But for what they have in their personnel, they're doing a great job on post defense. It's just those long skip passes that are getting away from them. And we will see you in the second half. Thought about saying something.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, 45 seconds left to go until the second half of action. Got a couple of stats for you. Scoring leader for both teams is Jansen Floto, shooting a crisp 5 of 8. He's got 19 points, and behind him is his teammate, Chris Cross, who's got 11. Uh, leading scorer for the Saints is Quincy James Jr., who has 8. It's a pretty big difference, difference there. Difference. Difference. <laughs> Pretty big difference between the highest score for both teams. That yeah. is over double the difference. Um, however, Saints are tied in the assist battle at six apiece and winning in the block battle, one to zero. Oh. And coming into this second half, it will be Saints ball. Chris Woods is going to inbound it. In for the Saints is Chris Woods, Chris James Jr., Raheem Brizendine, Trey Palmer, and Sam Adams. Looks like we've got both sets of starters uh, back in for both teams. Sam Adams catching the pass from Woods. Now James Jr. is going to drive. And a foul called on number 13, Caleb Becton for the Trojans. Saints, uh, Coach Jack kept the Saints back in the locker room for a pretty good amount of time here. They only had about two minutes to warm back up. I think they went over a lot, especially after how last game went, being such a back-and-forth game. Now, Saints are definitely not down and out here. They have a really big opportunity here in these next 20 minutes to put something together. And a substitution for Hannibal. The foul was on Caleb Beckton, who it was his third, so he's coming out. And for him is number three is Askey. As Trey Palmer's going to drive and miss the shot. Rebound by Brizendine. He misses his shot. Uh, nobody was there for the rebound except for some Trojans as Malachi Munoz has the ball guarded by Palmer. Criss Cross with it. Munoz and Cross just holding up that front, passing back and forth. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Munoz with the ball is going to get it to Criss Cross. Going to find Gutierrez, who's going to find Munoz. Saints have moved into a 1-3-1 one, one offense. And no shot. It is a shot clock violation by the Trojans. I imagine if I'm Coach Jack, after seeing that 1-3-1 one, one offense work as well as it just did, they're going to sit in it for a while. It is a tiring offense, though. People are <laughs> constantly on the move. Chris Woods handed off to Palmer. Palmer to James. James is going to drive, almost loses it. Gets it to Sam Adams, who gets it to Trey Palmer. Shot is no good. Rebound, finds the hands of Woods. Risen down two possessions in a row. Some great effort to get rebounds. As Quincy James drove in, lost the ball, turning it over. It'll be his fourth turnover of the night. And Jansen Floto is wide open 4-3, and he will knock it down. That was some great vision by Munoz, and another just seeing the floor so well. Munoz with it for the Trojans. Him and Floto passing the ball back and forth. 19-point game. Munoz is going to get it to Floto, who is going to get it to Criss Cross. Criss Cross takes the three, and it Man. is good. Who else but Cross? Now Chris Woods bringing it up for the Saints. He's going to get it to Sam Adams, who's going to drive, pull up the mid-range. Is good. Good shot by Sam Adams. Able to respond very quickly to the uh, Hannibal's shot. Great job. Very easy to get into a mindset of one play hero ball here, but able to knock it down. Munoz guarded up, faced by Palmer. Munoz going to get it to Chris Cross. And now Floto with is going to take a deep three. No good. Rebound by Brizendine. Brizendine's going to find Adams. Adams to James. James looking to do something. He's going to drive in and drawing the foul. That was a nice in and out move by James. Able to get his defender lean in one way, go the other. Unfortunately, he could not get that end one. Foul is on number three, Harrison Askey for the Trojans as James Jr. will go to the line to shoot two. Hopefully bring this down below a 20-point game. Junior hits his first. And a substitution for the Trojans for the first time tonight. 
Uh, Devel Long coming in for uh, Nick Gutierrez. That's just more size and athleticism combined going in for Hannibal. James goes two for two from the line. Munoz with it. Now in the hands of Floto. Palmer picking him up. And Long with it is going to get it to uh, great passing by the Trojans. Leads to a missed shot, though, by Chris Cross. And ball is deflecting off bodies. Uh, back in the point guard's hands, Munoz now too long. So I just need to switch back now into a 2-3 defense. Still in that zone pressure. As Munoz gets it to Askey, who is going to get a nice lay in through a little bit of contact. Yeah, not much. You almost want to see a little more. Test the waters with the ref, see what you can get by with. Quincy James is going to drive in and going to draw the foul. Maybe not test the refs. They seem to be calling a lot on drives tonight. So, good good, good job by Sam. That one is also on uh, Harrison Askey, his third of the night. The Saints, Chris Woods inbounding it, gets it to Brizendine, who gets a nice shot up and in for him. Great job by the Saints. That's not always the first option that you look for, especially on a four low with the screen across. But Brizendine heads up play. Uh, I believe it was... Palmer inbounding the ball. Good job of him looking up, seeing that for a nice easy bucket. And a 30-second timeout by the Saints. All right, coming out of the 30-second Saints timeout, it will be the Trojans ball. Um, doesn't look like any lineup changes for anybody as uh, Long inbounds it to Munoz. Yeah, Durst is going to trust his six-foot-five freshman Long from St. Louis, going to keep him in. Uh, Trojans doing a good job passing the ball around. Woods guarding Munoz. Munoz just looks like he is getting more and more comfortable as this game goes on. Does not seem to be affected at all by fatigue. And he's going to drive and kick it to Floto, who's going to take a Euro step. Shot is no good. Rebound by Chris Woods for the Saints. Woods going to get it to Brizendine. Level. And then Munoz looks like is, is he shaking up a little bit. Yeah. Um, pass came in hot and... The joys of not being face level with someone's shoulder or elbow at six foot ten. Never had to experience something like that. I've gotten punched in the liver multiple times. It makes you want to throw up, but face shots are very uncommon. Uh, and there was a foul called on Munoz. Unfortunate for him. He got face down as Raheem Brizendine is going to draw the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. The foul is on. Um, see once we get it here. Number one, Jansen Floto, his first of the contest. Brizendine, although being his first year here at Central, he is a transfer, so he's not a freshman. But although being his first year here at Central, he has quickly turned into a leader, both on and off the court, running his own ministry with his wife. Um, but when it comes time to play basketball, being a leader on the court, knowing when he needs to go get a bucket for his team. And Brizendine goes one for two from the line. And being a leader on the court is correct. He is the Saints' leading scorer so far this year, averaging 17.5 points. As Hannibal has controlled the ball, Munoz looking for Floto, finds him. Get it to Chris Cross, swing it up. Devell Long with it. And good Long catches Long. it on the mid. going to just turn around and jump her, and it is good. Good cut by Long. That is just such a practice shot. Two steps into the lay, or to the shot from the 15-foot line. As Trey Palmer is going to be fouled, I believe that foul is going to be on uh, Jansen Floto again. 
So his second, um, Hannibal's coach being very vocal, saying it is six fouls to zero. Uh, maybe seeing thinking a little bit of favoritism there as Chris Woods inbounds it to Palmer, who's just going to take a shot. Uh, spin around jumper. I mean, if you look at the score, jumper. come on, how much favoritism can you have? <laughs> Munoz uh, with the ball guarded by Palmer. Saints have switched into this, again, 1-3-1 one, one offense. Been very good for them, able to play off, avoid getting fouls, but also pressure Hannibal, make some uncomfortable shots for them. Munoz finds Chris Cross for a three, and that is pretty much wide open for yeah. him. Maybe, maybe not some uncomfortable shots, just some different looks, because he seemed to be very comfortable stepping into that shot. Brizendine with it, guarded by Chris Cross. Brizendine spins, and he was fouled from behind by, I believe that's going to be, yep, number 11, Devell Long. With that, the Saints will go into the bonus, although that was a shooting foul, so they're going to get two shots regardless. The foul call is 0-7, to seven, though, so I do understand the coach's complaint of favoritism, but play some solid defense, and don't worry about it. Brizendine to the line for two. Hits the first, and substitution for the Trojans. Munoz coming out, and number two, New, coming in for him. This could play to the advantage of the Saints being in the bonus so early. Free throws are give your team a chance to rest a little bit and for you to knock down some easy shots. New brings the ball up for the Trojans. He's going to get it to Chris Cross. Cross too long. Long's going to dish it down to the point, and the ball is taken away by Palmer. Maybe got away with a double dribble there. It finds Raheem Brizendine. He's going to take the three. No good. Rebound by Long. That's not the shot you necessarily want to see on a transition after a steal, especially when you kick it out from driving into the paint on a three on two. And was, yep, no, go, go ahead. ahead. I was going to say some great pressure there by the Saints led to a ball out of bounds by Hannibal and also a quick substitution. Nolan Mathis is in the game for the Saints. Another shooter just on the floor for the Saints. Trey Palmer getting it to Woods in the corner. Woods down to Junior, and Junior is going to uh, lose the ball. Yeah, there was all five of Hannibal's players coming in, just swarming him. He had every open person around the horn. New with the ball, looking for somewhere to go. He's going to get it to Floto. Again, the leading scorer for uh, both teams so far in this game. Floto gets it back to New. And Palmer heads up defense, finds Floto. Floto back to New. Is going to get draw a foul. That's a tough foul. Don't know if he got fouled, but, again, the foul call is 1-7 to seven now. If it's anything close, sometimes the rush do just have to give it to you, even, in that, even it back out. Uh, so it is a three-point foul, so we will sit here for three shots, and that is – Foul was called on Raheem Brizendine, his third of the contest. First one is a make. <laughs> Trey Palmer running in, not used to many three. There's not many three-point free throw possessions. <laughs> coming in for a wide open rebound. As New goes two for three from the line, uh, pushing their lead up to 22. Chris Woods with it. Quincy James Jr. going to go to work, drive in, and gets his jump. His defender jumping. Askew. And that is a bucket for Quincy James. Chris Cross with it. Now New directing traffic. Back to Floto, now Long with it. Trojans doing a great job of moving the ball as New is going to drive in on Nolan Mathis, who is going to get the foul call on him. Nolan not happy with that call. Um, feels as though New went into him, and he did. Um, but when the arms get caught up like that, typically the refs are going to go in favor of the shooter. So New will go back to the line to shoot two, misses his first. It is not a pickup game. <laughs> Coach is right. That is Coach Nehemiah Baker, another person I went to Lincoln Christian University with. Uh, but New goes one for two from the line. Saints in control. Chris Woods with it. 
Now Junior, James Junior is just going to lose it. Almost an unforced turnover as he gets to the lane. And with that bucket, we're going to go into a timeout. Timeout, a full timeout by Hannibal. We will see you after that. All right, coming out of the Trojan timeout, it will be the Trojan ball, and uh, we see uh, Caleb Becton is back in the game for the Trojans. And as far as the Saints go, no uh, lineup changes. Uh, Floto with it in the corner, getting it to Chris Cross, now with New. Saints playing, or er, Hannibal's playing an X offense right now with two post players in the game, constantly going up and down looking for anything. But... Leads to a three, not even acknowledging any of their first players. <laughs> Jansen Floto, the catch and shoot three, and Quincy James on the other end tries to pull up mid range. No good. Using no shot clock there, no pass around or anything. Quick shot. Now Chris Cross in the corner for three. No good as New goes over top of Trey Palmer, but the ball finds Trey and he gets it to give and go for Raheem Prisendine, who's going to draw the foul. That's an and one. He pointed up one of the lob. Good safe play by Trey Palmer, though, to lead to the layup and one. Foul is going to be called on number 11, Long. His second is he's going to get subbed out. Um, and Nick Gutierrez coming in for him. Brisbane Dine to the line for one. And Brisbane Dine misses the free throw. Uh, the only Saint there to rebound was Nolan Mathis. He was lined up, too. He was all over his man. Uh, new in control of it. The ball now to Chris Cross. Hannibal saying in this two post player offense, looking for the high low. The two is constantly open in the low. And new with the three. Chris Woods gets it to Nolan Matthews, who's going to take the three. And it is out. No good for him. Rebound by the Trojans. Floto. In control, gets it off to New. It's a little early for the Saints to be shooting such desperation shots, I feel. And another catch and shoot three for Jansen Floto. But with so many threes coming from Hannibal, you got to find a way to answer. Trey Palmer getting it to Brizendine. He's going to take the mid-range shot. No good rebound by Mathis. Ooh, Ooh. it's going to get fouled by Floto. Good job, Nolan Mathis. Not giving up on the early sh shot. Going in, getting a rebound, doing the little things. And Mathis hits the free throw. Substitutions for both teams. For the Saints, Idris Hamilton coming in for Quincy James. And Chris Cross coming out. And coming in for him is number four, Eric Hively. Chris Cross getting a well-deserved break as Mathis goes two for two from the line. Good job, Nolan. Being strong at the line. And Saints are going to pressure. The inbound is picked off by Chris Woods, who's going to drive. And he draws a foul. Great job by the Saints coming in a little sneakily into that press 
defense going to get a steal. Almost an in one. Now Chris Woods is going to go to the line to shoot two free throws. Mm. Coach being the distractor <laughs> there for yeah. Chris Woods yelling the entire position. Not sure if you're allowed to do that. I don't know if a player or an active person on the roster can be talking during a free throw, but they're going to let it go. Yeah. Yep, they're still yelling over there as Chris Woods takes his second shot, but he makes it. Saints still in that inbound pressure. Trojan's going to get it. Great and pressure. going to be out of bounds. Ooh, they're going to call tip. Ball is tipped, so it'll still be Trojan's ball. We'll see a tip. That's fine because now they've got seven seconds to get it across the line instead of traditional ten. Great pressure defense by Nolan being the rover coming in. They get it into New, who is going to quickly get it across. New getting trapped. And a timeout call by the Trojans. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Saints trail by 23 All right, coming out of the Trojan timeout, it will be the uh, – it will still be Trojan's ball. Jansen Floto on the inbound is going to inbound it to Munoz, who's now back in the game for the Trojans, coming in for New. Number 13, Becton with the ball, has not called his name much this entire second half. He gets his own rebound after a miss, puts it back up, no good. And the ball's going to go out of bounds on Idris. I can see that from up here. Well, no wonder we didn't call his name that much. He <laughs> two pretty bad misses there. Gets his own rebound, but good, good job on the Trojans keeping their keeping the ball their way. Munoz inbounding it to Hively, and shot clock violation. Um, there was no, no, um, any kind of energy for the Trojans there. Not worried at all about the shot clock. Not sure they didn't realize how little time they had. Chris Woods bringing it up for the Saints. Brizendine with it. He's going to drive in on Beckton. Snatch back. Pulls the mid-range. Good. That will go on someone's highlight reel. Now Hively bringing it up for the Trojans. Gets it to Gutierrez, to Munoz now. Jansen Floto is going to catch it. He's going to create separation, pull the shot, and it is good. Well, they're going to answer right back with just as tough of the shot. Jansen Floto's been in a long time, not seeming to have – he's still got a lot of gas. Yeah, I don't even see any sweat on that, man. He is just going. As Raheem Brizendine, a quick drive to the lane, and the shot is up and in, layup. 21-point game for the Saints, trailing to the Trojans. Floto catches the ball, guarded by Woods. Now Gutierrez in the hands of Munoz. Back to the Gutierrez is trying to go to work on Hamilton. Hamilton not allowing it, but they're going to call a travel. Great job on Hamilton, playing some strong post defense here coming in the back half. Hamilton had his hands up. He was thinking they were going to call the foul on him, but they do not, so it will be the Saints ball and a uh, substitution for the Trojans. Chris Cross coming back in, this time for Caleb Becton. And we see Quincy James Jr. is going to check in at the next dead ball for the Saints as Raheem Brizendine is going to spin, and the shot is up and in. Three this, great buckets by Brizendine. This man is in the kitchen cooking right now. Saints are now under the 20-point, down to the 19-point difference. Need another stop here, continue to chip away. Chris Cross catches it in the corner. Now Floto with it. Munoz going to take his time, step into the three, and it rims out. Rebound goes to Palmer. Palmer is miscued. He's going to try and zip it to 
Uh, probably was gonna, he was thinking Idris was going to be there, but. I know what Palmer was thinking there. That's just not really the right pass, especially on such a cut with another Trojan cutting with him. Probably wanted to skip. If you're going to skip anywhere, skip ahead to Mathis. And Quincy coming in for Trey Palmer as the Saints are going to trap. Good poke by Chris Woods. Chris did not think that that ball was going to be out on him, well, but it, kept it, his composure. Yeah, it came off his knee. It came off of Nunez's knee, or Nunez's knee, at the end. Um, but it was already called out of bounds before then. Another substitution for the Trojans. Uh, Gutierrez coming out and you coming back in and foul is going to be called. And that is often why you do not want to argue with the ref on a call because he's just going to be watching you like a hawk the rest of the way. Good job on Woods not reacting. Sometimes refs want to do that. Sometimes refs want to just call, see if they can get a reaction out of you. Saints playing some inbounds pressure again. Munoz trapped by James and Woods that gets it to Hively who's going to get it across the line. Finds Chris Cross for three, and that is no good. Chris Woods is there to catch the rebound for the Saints. That was a good job by the Saints. Oftentimes you hear you want to stop the ball, but knowing two people were going down the other way, they both went down, stopping anything from happening. And Nolan Mathis, great Ooh. drive and kick back out to Chris Woods, who nails the three-pointer. And the pressure was not there that time for the Saints on the inbound. Munoz with it. Now new to, Ham or to Floto. Well, sitting on New. New is going to drive and stop, to, uh, step back mid range. That was nasty. That was nasty. Now, uh, Saints, Chris Woods bringing it back in. Trey Palmer looking to sub back in. He just needed a quick breather. And James Jr. is going to drive in and miss the rim. Wanted a foul. When you're underneath the goal like that, it's going to be hard for a ref to give you a foul. Now, Saints were down a man, and now New is going to pull up mid range, or not mid range, sorry. Corner three, no good. Corner three. <laughs> Idris Hamilton with it. Coach says slow it down. Let's call a play. They're going to go ahead and get in their five-out offense here. Lots of cuts we're about to see. Brizendine with it is going to pull the three. No good. That is not necessarily the play the coach is looking for. You can hear him yelling from up here that he's wanting movement. And they settle for a three instead. Munoz with it. Each team looking to sub some guys in, so dead ball winning. Floto is going to take a pullback shot. Rebounded, goes to the Saints. Good job on the Saints. Saints are not able to put anything in the hole in the past few possessions, but doing just as good of a job on defense, stopping anything from going back to a 20-point game. And Saints being in the double bonus, Nolan Mathis is going to go to the line to shoot two free throws. No one a great free throw shooter for the Saints has a chance to cut into this lead even more with two makes. Mathis knocks down the first, and we've got uh, we've got two right now substitutions for the Saints. Idris Hamilton coming out, Sam Adams coming in, also Brizendine coming out, and Trey Palmer is in, um, and. Tristan Brand is looking to sub in for Nolan Mathis after he gets done with this free throw. And he nails the free throw. It's always funny to see if they're going to miss it so that way they can stay in the game <laughs> or if they're going to go ahead and put the team first and go ahead and knock it down. All right, it will be Hannibal's ball. Got some pizza man coming in across the side of the court carrying a huge duffel bag. And Jansen Floto is going to get called for the travel. Uh, great pressure by the Saints. Man, I hope to get some of that pizza. Anyways, Trey Palmer looking to inbound the ball for the Saints. Gets it into James Jr. Now Woods with it back to Palmer. Try is going to get it into Quincy James. Chris Cross overstepping. Foul is going to be on him, so... Quincy will go to the line for two. Good job, Quincy, staying strong. It almost looked like Trey Palmer was about to shoot it. I think he lost it, maybe, and tried to pass it into Quincy. And it was really easy on that shooting motion to start your box out and turn. But Quincy stayed strong, able to get that foul. Nails the first free throw and substitution. Chris Cross coming out. That was his fourth foul. And with six and a half minutes left, Coach thinks that there's plenty of time to get him back in the game. No need to have him foul out. So Quincy... Goes two for two from the line. And subbing in for him was uh, number 11, Devell Long. 
coach trusting his freshman late in this game. And another interception by Chris Woods for the Saints on the pressure. And now Chris Woods wide open in the corner. No, mm. almost just rims out. And that's one of those ones that you just wish you could get back, wish you could have fall in. Nothing more he could have done, nothing better. Munoz with the ball for the Trojans. Some new life coming into the Saints bench, cheering for their team. Munoz has it guarded by Adams. He's going to kick it out to Long. He's going to pull up mid-range. No good. Rebound, Trey Palmer snatching it out of the air. Tristan Brand running down the sideline wide open. Could have passed in. As Trey Palmer is going to lose the ball and is in the hands of Jansen Floto, who's going to get it to Caleb Beckton. Tristan Brand had, or not Tristan Brand, Trey Palmer had lots of open people there, could have passed the ball to. And Quincy James Jr. is going to drive and gets fouled. I believe the foul is going to be on Floto. Quincy James going back to the line, got to knock these two down again. Get back the points that were lost on the other end. Bring it to 15. And that was also Floto's fourth foul, but does not look like Coach is going to sub him out. Uh, you can't sub out your leading score. Quincy misses the first, and substitution is going to be Raheem Brizendine for Trey Palmer. Never mind. Floto uh, is going to come out for number four, Hively. I'm not sure if that was the original play. The coach is shaking his head. I think that he wanted uh, Munoz to come out, but Quincy James goes 0 for 2 from the line. Munoz with it, getting it too long. Long is going to drive in a scoop up and one. Foul is going to be called on Tristan Brand, who does not like the call, and why would you? Athletic play for the freshman long coming in. Like you said, a scoop and score. Very athletic, very long. Jumps up, goes, looked like he was going to windmill. He came all the way around. <laughs> Long's free throw is good to complete the end one to push the Trojan lead back up to 20. Quincy James is going to make a move and is going to get fouled. Saints doing a great job driving in, getting to the lane, getting fouls. However, you just almost want to see them kick out to the open man, see if we can knock down some threes. We've tried some threes, they've missed, but those are some – Low percentage threes on transition points. That's a kick out, easy jump shot. Quincy's first of two free throws is good. Foul was on number zero, Malachi Munoz but for the Trojans. Points are points. Didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. Oh, you're all right. James goes two for two from the line. And it looks like Coach Jack is going to call a full timeout. Saints trailing by 18. All right, and after that timeout, Trojans are coming back in. Was there a sub change? I don't remember who they came out with. Is Neil 
new to this lineup? Uh, no, new has been in. Um, looks like they are still rocking with the lineup they had. Jansen Floto still sitting on the bench. Um, him and Chris Cross both with 4,000. A full court pass to new, and he's going to step out of bounds. Great job, Sam, playing dodgeball champion back in high school. Able to duck under that pass that new was going to throw at his face. Now Sam Adams looking to inbound the ball. Gets it to Chris Woods. Slight uh, number four is playing heads up. Askey. Five or minutes, Hively, excuse me. Five minutes left in this game. And Quincy James Jr. is going to get fouled. Um, I understand the frustration on Becton. However, when you swing your arm down like that, the refs are most likely going to go in the favor of the shooter. I know from everyone's angle, it looked like Quincy had an up down there, but Becton did swing down right at his face. And that is also Becton's fourth foul. So uh, three key players, it seems. Becton, not really a high score, but he's been in a lot um, for this Trojan team, are in foul trouble. As Quincy James goes 0 for 2 from the line, needed those free throws, but Saints are gonna pressure. Tristan Brand in. Long is going to get it to Hively. Quincy was ready to swat whatever came up right there. Now New with it. Going to find Long. Long's going to find Munoz, who's going to skip it. A little couple bounces to the corner. New is going to drive in and uh, drawing the foul from Sam Adams. Standing there in disbelief. It's one of those things you think you do everything right, but... When someone comes in crazy and just throwing it around, refs are either going to give it to them or they're not. That's time they give it to them. Uh, Russell New is going to go to the line to shoot two. Pitches first. And substitution for the Saints. Nolan Mathis back in the game for this time is for Tristan Brand. And New goes two for two to push this back up to a 20-point lead for the Trojans. Chris Woods bringing it up for the Saints. James back to Woods. Woods thought about the three. Back to James. And now Woods is going to take the three. It is good, good for Woods. Shot by Woods. Exactly what his team needed in this moment. Bring it back down to 17 points. Now Woods is going to pressure Long, who's going to throw a knuckleball into the ground of Hively. Smart choice by Hively calling that timeout there. Unfortunately, they did not get across half, so they're only going to have four seconds if the Saints can apply, apply enough defensive pressure. That was difficult to say. <laughs> apply enough defensive pressure there in the backcourt to stop them. And it is going to be a full minute timeout, so we will catch you after that. All right, we are going to jump back into this game after the timeout for the Trojans. And back in the game for the Trojans, uh, number one, Jansen Floto. No, sorry. He was still walking off the court. I thought he was back in. Um, doesn't look like a lineup change. Nope. Saints need to apply pressure. Three, two, one. That's ten. That was ten. That, that was 11 seconds. That was not called. The ref <laughs> See the ref on the other side put his hands up, sees the 10, cannot go back on that call after not saying anything. So New is going to drive to the lane to get a layup, and that is just unfortunate. Saints did everything right there. We could not have done anything better. 
Prison nine with the ball for the Saints. He is going to get it to Mathis, who's going to pull a corner three. No good. Sam Adams finds the rebound. And Sam one. Won. Sam Adams. Stop Heads him. up play uh, by him. Pop goes a weasel. Sam was able to bring down the hammer at the end. Eh, hammer's a duck. <laughs> yeah. I tried something. Didn't work. <laughs> Foul was on Munoz, his uh, third. Uh, substitutions for the Trojans, uh, Chris Cross and Jansen Floto coming back in the game um, for Long and Hively. Lots of fouls on the court. Three players for Hannibal with four fouls. Saints need to do a great job attacking here. Floto inbounds to News. Got to find somebody. Great job by the Saints not fouling, but Beckton's going to have the ball in. Tough shot for him, goes in. Sam wasting no time getting that ball back inbounds, but Chris Woods is going to go ahead and slow it back down. Brizen dying with it. He's going to try and drive in on Woods, and, or uh, cross, and does, but the shot is no good. That's the right move, but the wrong angle on the court. When you make that step through, you kind of want to be at an angle going towards the basket so you can get it off the glass. New with the ball. Coach just wanting to uh, drain as much clock as they can. Floto thought about the three, then pulled the three. No good. Rebound by Beckton. Puts it right back up. No good. That worked out for the best for the Saints with nobody going on Beckton. And Chris Woods going to step into a three. No good. Rebound by Beckton. Saints are just throwing up desperation shots at this point. Uh, Munoz with it back to New, who's going to take a three. No good. Rebound by Adams. Uh, Saints looking to make a couple of substitutions. Uh, Trey Palmer and Anthony Moore, who we have not yeah, seen tonight. Ant-Man. Ant-Man has Quincy James Jr. Hits a two-pointer. Two, two-point shot. Uh, it'll be a timeout for, I believe it's the Saints. Also, I believe I just saw that Isaiah Larkins will be coming into the game. It'll be a full timeout. And real quick, at the beginning of this timeout, I want to call out a couple of uh, people who are hopefully watching the game still. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ambrose, Eddie's parents, uh, if you're still watching, shout out to you guys. Uh, great hosts hosted me once, uh, a couple of people. Who are some you? Some great people. Are you just some random guy they're hosting? No, 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 no. I'm well, him. Let me <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. He is him. Uh, oh, man. Um, Timothy. <laughs> Timmy Turner. Um, Saints making some substitutions. Uh, coming in for the Saints. Again, we got Trey Palmer. Uh, Anthony Moore also coming in. And Isaiah Larkins. Yeah, Zay, let's go. Spot rocking the neon green shoes. Uh, with two minutes and nine seconds left, down by 16. Um, is going to be Hannibal's ball. Jansen Floto is going to inbound it. Now the Trojans still have their primary lineup out. Jansen Floto with the ball, giving it to Munoz. Saints not going to foul. Isaiah Larkins guarding Caleb Beckton. Munoz coming in hot. Floto with it. Ten seconds left. Munoz going to think about the three. Nope. Gives it to Russell New, who's going to get it to Munoz. Back to New. Pulling a three. No good. Rebound Palmer. And Palmer's going to drive. Passing it to Sam Adams. Who's going to drive, tries to get it to Isaiah Larkin, so it's poked out of bounds by Caleb Beckton. Good head fake by Sam to be able to get to that drive. Trey Palmer inbounding the ball, getting it to Sam Adams. Anthony Moore down to Mathis. Mathis going to find Moore. Moore had Floto jumping. A little bit of travel there. (laughs) Give and go for Nolan and... Anthony, Trey Palmer, Give it to spin him. move, pull up, no good. 
Rebound, Palmer finds it, puts it back in. With just a minute left in this game, 25 seconds left on the shot clock, it looks like the Trojans are going to walk it up with as much of that clock as possible. Nope, never mind, going to get an open layup on the cut. For no G one was there guarding. Now Jason. the Saints are going to inbound it. Uh, 50 seconds left to go. Trey Palmer with a spin move is going to lose it into the hands of Criss Cross. Now Floto is going to float it to Russell New. Trey doing a lot of moves with a uh, little time left on the clock. Now Anthony Moore with it, trying to get it to Palmer. Uh, Palmer saving it from going out of bounds. And Nolan Mathis pull up mid-range. 32 seconds left on the clock. Not sure if the Trojans are going to score or if they're just going to let the shot clock expire. Got a – for Christmas break, the Saints are going to be taking on uh, Ozark, the Ozark Ambassadors. And we've got a couple of Ozark players watching right now. A guy by the name of Michael Colburn and Danny Foster as Caleb Becton gets the shot to go in. Eight seconds left. See if they just want to get a – Last second shot, Trey Palmer steps into the three. No good. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Saints fall at home to the Hannibal LaGrange Trojans. They lose 89-71. to And the Saints are going to also be – we have a doubleheader again uh, Saturday. I believe the first game starts at 2 p.m. Um, so, if you'd like to catch us there. Uh, that's where we'll be. Yep. Friday game two. Yeah. Home game? Yep. All right. So just the guys, I believe, on Friday, and then Saturday is a doubleheader girls and guys. Okay. Well, um, it's been fun. It's been real. It ain't been real fun, though. Yeah. <laughs> Tough loss for the Saints. All right. We will see you next time.